Rebecca Diener asks what will be done to help the homeless find homes. It's been a big issue in downtown Indy. Mr. Shreve, I'll start with you here. 60 seconds. Does more need to be done? More needs to be done. Uh, we have, with the help of the General Assembly, money to work with for a low barrier shelter to supplement the shelters such as Wheeler that exist today. But we need to get the homeless off the streets of Indianapolis, both for their well-being and for the safety of the citizens in our downtown core. We also have homeless that we don't see, that aren't right underneath the Arch Garden. Uh, we have so many along the White River, on the levees and the encampments there. And we need to be, be careful in distinguishing between homelessness, panhandling, and mental health issues. And so the investment in other uh, homeless options needs to be coupled with a, a greater investment in mental health care because so often they're coupled. Mayor Hogg set 60 seconds. What's your response to that? And do you plan to change course at all in your approach uh, on this issue? Yeah, I just want to clarify one thing. It's not uh, a low barrier shelter as a shelter is often t considered that the uh, state and the, uh, and the city have partnered to build. It's actually a housing hub. Uh, a 24 hour a day uh, respite for those who find themselves chronically uh, uh, unsheltered and it will help them move down the path of getting permanent supportive housing and the supportive services that they need to stay there. We've seen an increase in federal support for homeless intervention and prevention uh, over the last eight years, um, uh, two times over. And since tw uh, 2021, there's been a 16% reduction in the number of our unsheltered neighbors uh, in the city of Indianapolis. So while progress continues, progress will be, will, will be made. And I really think that this housing hub, a 24-hour facility, uh, will help move our people uh, from chronic homelessness into permanent supportive housing. All right, let's talk